Hi friends, welcome to Meclux. Today we will discuss about construction of ellipse by general method. First we see the problem. Draw an ellipse when the distance between focus and directrix equal to 65 mm and essentially 3 by 4. Okay. How to find general method by giving the essentiality and distance of the focus. When they given this distance and this essentiality, we can draw only by general method. This is also called focus and directrix method. General method also called focus and directrix method. They given focus to directrix is 65 and essentiality is 3 by 4. 3 by 4 means less than 1. That's why this is a, an ellipse. If E essentiality means essentiality is 3 by 4, that is less than 1. That's why this is an ellipse. If E is greater than 1, that is the hyperbola. If E equal to 1, that is the parabola. First, we draw the one vertical line. Name it as AB. This is the directrix line. This AB is called the directrix line. Next, we draw the argent line. Like this. This is axis line. And name it as C. On this line, we have to locate the focus at a distance of 65 from the directrix. From C, you take 65 and look at that as F. Now the given essentiality is 3 by 4. Essentiality means E equal to 3 by 4. What is 3 plus 4? 7. Now we have to divide this CF into 7 equal parts. 65 by 7 we will get some fraction. That's why we draw the line divided into n equal parts method. First we draw one inclined line at C like this. Draw an inclined line at C at an NA angle. Now divide this line into 10 1 equal parts. You take any distance, 1 mm, 10 mm, 5 mm, or anything. You can take, divide this line into 7, 7 equal parts. But then I am taking 1 center. C to this point is the 1 center. From this point to next point is the 1 center. Like this, you draw the 7 points. Like this. Now we are drawing the last point with the F. On this CF line, F is the last point. On this line, this is the last point. Now join these two lines. Now from this point, you draw a line parallel to this one. These two are the parallel. Similarly, from this point also. This line parallel to the, these two lines. We have draw the lines like this. All should be parallel to the last line. This line. Last line. Now, from F. What is the numerical value here? 3. From F, third point of the vertex. This one. 1, 2. From F, what is the numerical value here? 3. From F, third point of the vertex. Now draw a vertical line at V. Like this. Now you take VF as the radius, V as center, draw an arc. Like this. V as center, V to F as the radius. Draw arc from here to here. Name it as E. Now join the CE. Extend the line like this. Draw a line passing through the CE. From C to E, draw a line like this. Now we are draw the some lines after vertex. Like this. And name it as 1 1 dash. Now you take 1 1 dash as the radius. Listen carefully. You take 1 1 dash as radius, F as center, draw an arc, above and below, like this. 1 to 1 as radius, you take compass, 1 to 1 as radius, F as center, draw an arc above and below. Now draw another line. You take this distance of maybe equal or unequal. V to 1 1 dash and 1 1 dash to 2 dash, you may take equal or unequal. Now name it as 2 2 dash. Now you take 2 2 dash as radius. 2 2 dash at radius f as center. Draw an arc above and below. Now similarly you take another line. You take 3 3 dash s. 3 3 dash at radius f as center. Draw an arc above and below. Similarly you draw one more line. Okay. Draw. For example you take this as a 4. This as a 4 dash. 4 4 dash at radius f as center. Draw an arc above and below. Now, you take this as 5, 5 dash, 5 to 5 dash as radius, F as center. You take this point as 5 and this is a 5 dash. 
pi to phi dash radius f s n draw an arc above and below. Now we have to join all these points by a smooth curve from v to p one, p one to p two, p two p three, p three to p four, p four to five. We we'll take some more lines like this. We are taking here four four dash pi phi dash now. We we'll take up to ten, eleven, or twelve. Up to the ellipse should be closed. I am taking some points only. We we'll take some more points like this. Where I have to take? We have to take up to closing the ellipse up to this point. Now we have to look at the main axis. This this is the major axis. Now we'll look at the midpoint of this major axis. Draw a vertical line. Look at the midpoint of this major axis. Draw a vertical line. This is the main axis of the ellipse. Like this, you can draw the ellipse by a general method. Thank you for watching my video.